Hi guys, it is a gorgeous winter day here in the end times, in the paradise of East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, and me and a little dog, we need to head into the big city today to do some shopping here on Tuesday, January 24th, uh, 2017. What are we in day five of the new dark age of Trump? And guys, you know, I, I'm noticing a an unfortunate pattern here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and that's like every one of my rants now uh, seems to be about Donald fucking Trump. And uh, I, I don't want Humpty Dumpty Tribe just to turn into, you know, just an all-out Trump fest. Uh, good God, I want to find something else to, on, this, on this planet to talk about other than the newest, single biggest threat to life on planet Earth. Name of Donald Trump. But the problem is, for God's sake, guys, I am, I, I am a, what am I anyway? I am a doomsday prophet, an environmental alarmist, and the chronicler of the downfall of uh, global industrial civilization. So it's not like I can ignore Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump is, is, is a wet dream come true for a doomsday prophet and an environmental alarmist. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Do I need to do, like, every day is what it appears that I need to do a, just, a, just a Trump roundup? Or do I need to make it once a week? Uh, my God, uh, if, if, I, if I just tried to make a Donald Trump roundup file once a week, that rant would go on for six hours. So I don't know, but I'm figuring this out. Uh, so just for today, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this, this. This is just today, day five of this fucker's uh, romp across this planet. Uh, unbelievable. Okay. I don't know whether to pull out the uh, no shit Sherlock button or the bullshit detector button. Uh, hit both of them at the same time. Okay, th th this is just today opening up the mainstream media. Uh, the, the number one no shit Sherlock story and, and this was certainly one of my, my no shit Sherlock predictions for 2017. I'm almost sure I remember calling this one, but even I didn't think it would show up on day five. But here it is. I'm, I guess I'm kind of surprised it took five days from Bloomberg. Trump advancing Keystone and Dakota oil pipelines today. Yes. President Donald Trump, this was this morning, it's probably already happened. President Donald Trump intends to take action today to advance construction of the Keystone XL and the Dakota Access Pipelines. Yes. Keystone, of course, you remember, was rejected on, by Barack Obama and the Dakota Access Project was stalled. Uh, you know, Obama managed to put that one, that political hot potato on the back burner till he got his ass out of Washington. Uh, the moves to advance the pipelines taken on Trump's fourth full day in office illustrate his plan to fulfill his campaign pledge to give the oil industry more freedom to expand infrastructure, create jobs to expand infrastructure, create jobs, and ease transportation bottlenecks. Yes, 
Anyway, TransCanada had no immediate comment, I bet. Uh, uh, okay, guys, let the Civil War begin. Let the New Indian Wars begin. It's going to be the, the Battle of Little Bighorn all over again. Okay, from oil pipelines to scientific research, this is many versions of, of looking at various aspects of Donald Trump's attacks on the Environmental Protection Agency, which is already a joke, the EPA, but good Lord, by the, by the time uh, Donald Trump and Scott Pruitt end up cutting what little balls are left in the EPA. Jesus. Trump transition team plans to end scientific research. <laughs> President Donald Trump's administration's transition team for the Environmental Protection Agency is planning massive budget cuts to the agency. Yeah, do you think so? Uh, Trump's team is planning regulatory and scientific overhauls at the EPA. Uh, do you think so? Uh, this document from Trump's transition team said the EPA should not fund scientific research and added that the agency science advisory board needs to be overhauled. So among, pot this is potential opportunities for budget reductions in the EPA. Okay. Here is $513 million in cuts to states and tribal assistance grants. Here is $193 million in savings from shutting down climate programs. And how about $100 nine million dollars in savings from quote environment programs and management uh, listed among initiatives to terminate were greenhouse gas regulations for coal and natural gas power plants okay let's see this is, uh, how about this, no shit Sherlock story? Trump's new EPA transition team, you know, led by this planet eater Scott Pruitt, draws from oil industry groups. <laughs> U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has drawn heavily from the energy industry lobby and pro-dwilling think tanks to build its landing team, I guess the transition team, for the Environmental Protection Agency. Okay, so let's look at, in addition to Scott Pruitt, we have at least three former researchers from think tanks funded by the billionaire industrial bro industrialist brothers Charles and David Koch. We have at least one former lobbyist for the mining industry. Several members of the new team have also publicly argued against U.S. efforts to combat climate change. The team's makeup has reinforced expectations that Trump will follow through on his promise to slash U.S. environmental regulations as a way to promote more drilling and mining. Okay, this is 
Reuters spin on the same story. White House temporarily freezes EPA grants and contracts. What are, uh, The EPA awards billions of dollars worth of grants and contracts every year to support programs around environmental testing, cleanups, and research. There you go. Uh, la da da from the EPA to the South China Sea. Now, I'm going to come back. I can't believe I have not done a full rant on the South China Sea. I have been saying for years that if you want to know where World War III is going to erupt, look not to the Middle East or to Russia, look to the South China Sea. And if you want to know who is quickly leading us into World War III, I would suggest looking at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'm just going to touch on this article now. I'll revisit it later when I find the time to do a full South China Sea. Here is Trump White House vows to stop China from taking South China Sea Islands. <clears throat> the new U.S. administration of President Donald Trump vowed on Monday that the United States would prevent China from taking over territory in international waters in the South China Sea, something Chinese state media has warned would require Washington to, quote, wage war. Yes. Uh, the announcement uh, from Trump yesterday signaled a sharp departure from years of cautious U.S. handling of China's assertive pursuit of territory claims in Asia. There you go. Uh, Rex Tillerson is weighed in also saying that China should not be allowed access to islands it has built in the contested South China Sea. Anyway, guys, uh, I will come back with more about this story and many others as we sit here and watch World War III unfold here on the fourth day of the Donald Trump administration. Okay, I barely mentioned this one yesterday in my rant yesterday, uh, and apparently I misunderstood it. So this is an amplification and clarification for any clueless moron such as me who misunderstood what this fucker was doing. Trump <clears throat> bans federal funding for foreign non-governmental organizations that support abortion. So, President Donald Trump on Monday signed a decree barring U.S. federal funding for foreign NGOs that support abortion, relaunch, relaunching a battle that has long div divided uh, um, Americans. Now, what I thought it was saying w was that no foreign NGOs would be allowed to use U.S. taxpayer uh, money to perform abortions. But no, that is not what it is saying. Well, that obviously uh, is included. It goes way beyond that. Listen to this convoluted sentence very carefully. The restrictions... Now, uh, from Trump, prohibit foreign non-governmental organizations that receive U.S. family planning assistance from using non-U.S. funding to provide abortion services 
information, counseling, or referrals. They are also barred from engaging in advocacy to promote abortion. So you understand that even if the group, that, that if it's abortion advocacy is using non-U.S. funds just to, to not, not to just for services, but counseling and promotion of abortion that the, they will lose all of their U.S. funding. Uh, th th this is step one, you know, uh, about, it, you know, it's going to be abortions today. It's going to be birth control pills and condoms tomorrow. How, how many times have I said that uh, we need to stop foreign aid to Africa, foreign food aid, and replace it with, uh, with more uh, family planning services, but you better believe under Donald Trump uh, wh where this is going. And this last one from Foreign Policy Magazine, I was going to make part of my regular Tuesday um, wacky conspiracy theory rant. The name of the article was Welcome to the New Shadow Government. So. I, I thought that the article somewhere, this long involved article, might tell us something about the new shadow government. The problem is you never see the word shadow government anywhere in the article past the headline, but I did enjoy this one paragraph from this middle of this article that has, says nothing about a shadow government. Take it away, Foreign Policy Magazine. <laughs> the election of Donald Trump has been as unsettling a moment as any since the late 60s and early 70s. Some fear that today, meaning today, today, may be even more perilous with rising powers, resurgent foes, global threats, mesticizing, profound economic disparities, deep government dysfunction, distrust of public institutions, and a president who is erratic, impulsive, and often vindictive. Uh, the coming years could witness not simply an unwinding of Obama's policies, for, for the joke they were, uh, but the breakdown of broad bipartisan commitment to internationalism that has underpinned American foreign policy since World War II. And there you go. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up my first daily uh, Trump adventures in Trump land. I need to figure out what I'm going to call it. This is, this is one day's uh, news from Trump land. And I don't know whether this is going to be a daily or weekly. And I will come back at you later today with my uh, roundup, my Tuesday roundup. Uh, of various anti-science, conspiracy wackos, UFOs, planet Nibiru, the usual, in a former rant, and I am not going to use the word, say the words, Donald Trump. Oh shit, yes I am. Yeah, of course I am. How can I have a rant? E -e God, I can see where this is going. Anyway, guys, I'm going to come back later for that because i got to head downtown. Head downtown and take care of some business. Bye, guys. Are you ready to head downtown and take care of some business?